Hey everybody, it's a 3D printing professor and welcome to this section of 3D printing 101, how to 3D print if you don't have a 3D printer and preferably without breaking the bank to do so. So if you don't have a 3D printer, you can still use 3D printing to do really cool things. You just have to know a little bit about it before going into it. So the first thing you need to know is you need to know 3D printing. In particular, you need to know that there are different types of 3D printing and that they each have their strengths and weaknesses. And what you're trying to 3D print might not print so well in the 3D printing process that you want to do it in. Specifically, if you're trying to do it in FDM or FFF because it's the cheapest process, it might not work so well unless uh, you have a fancier printer, in which case it'll cost more. So we'll cover the different 3D printing processes in a later video. Just know that that knowledge is kind of important to this. The second thing is to know your file and whether it's going to work into different 3D printing processes. Like, for instance, this file, which prints a dice. I designed this dice a long time ago, and it's a functional dice. It's got the numbers and, and everything on it, but it's hollow. There's a big empty space inside of it, and it's designed to print without supports. It takes advantage of a lot of bridging and a lot of 3D printing tricks to make it work. There's some nasty stringing going on inside this particular print, but it is designed for FFF printing, and so it pays to know your file. Now, I'm going to use this dice as an example. Let's say that I designed this dice, which I did, and I want to get it 3D printed. I know that it will work on FFF. I designed it to work on FFF, so that's what I'm going to print it on. So once you know your file, the next thing you need to find out about it is the volume of it. Volume generally determines price. The price is also oftentimes determined by a, a base level. So they say, we're going to charge you X number of dollars plus a little bit more for each cubic centimeter or however they're measuring volume uh, in order to get the price where it's reasonable. This is why when things get a little bit bigger, they go up in price a lot. If I wanted to print this dice twice as big, twice as wide, it's not just going to be twice as wide, it's going to be twice as wide, it's going to be twice as tall, it's also going to be twice as long. And as such, the price isn't going to go up by two. It's going to go up, at least for that component of it, by eight. That's you know, one this way, two more this way, and four more going that way. So the price goes up a lot as volume goes up. So once you know that your file will work for a specific process, Estimate your price. If you need it printed in a more expensive process, either because you need the detail or it's got some complex internal structures, then expect to pay a little bit more for that. But if you know that it'll print with a cheaper process, expect to pay a little bit less for it. And then shop around. Of course, everybody goes to Shapeways for their 3D prints, and Shapeways uses the fancy expensive printers that you don't have to think much about your files to be able to 3D print. You can just throw it at them and it'll likely work. But they are the most expensive. And the cheapest, the, the cheapest way to get your 3D prints done? No, it's not to own a 3D printer. It's, I know a guy who owns a 3D printer. If you hand a person who owns a 3D printer a 3D file and say, hey, can you print this for me? The answer is, oh, yeah, especially if you know that it'll work for their 3D printer. I know a guy is the best way to do it. Now, there are websites that can help you get to know a guy. If you go on 3D Hubs or, or uh, Make XYZ, you can find local 3D printers in your area. But there might be a 3D printer at your library or local college. I found 3D printers in people's areas just by searching 3D printer and the name of their town and I found out that their college, while they didn't advertise it anywhere, had bought a 3D printer. I tracked down the person who was using it and said, hey, would you be willing to print off this file for me and send it to a guy? And that's the way it sometimes works. I know a guy is a age-old process, but it's true. Uh, I've gone off a little bit, but let's get to the last step that you need to do. Pull the trigger. 
go ahead and make the purchase. It's going to be a little bit more than you expect because 3D printing is a custom manufacturing process. You might say, man, I'm paying, you know, $15 for a die. Although, honestly, I wouldn't expect you to pay more than $8 or $10 for this. But still, you might say, gee, that's, that's a lot for a dice. Yes, but it's not a lot for a custom manufactured thing made on demand because you wanted it. I mean, when you look at it that way, it doesn't matter what it is. A little bit of expenses is expected, is understood, and, and shouldn't surprise anybody. But do it. Spend the money. Pull the trigger because I can tell you from personal experience, holding something in your hand that was made by a 3D printer is the best way to learn about 3D printing that I've ever seen. It is possible, in fact, it's it's very easy to 3D print without a 3D printer. It just takes a little bit more legwork and effort on your part, but it'll save you a lot of money and a lot of time learning how to use a 3D printer if you just aren't sure that you want to do that. Of course, after you do this process and figure out where a 3D printer is, after you start holding 3D prints in your hand and, and after you get hooked on it and decide that you're gonna be doing five or 10 or a hundred more 3D printing projects, well, maybe you better think about getting your own 3D printer because you're hooked, man, and it's going to do you good to have it. Or girl, man or girl, I want everybody to succeed in 3D printing. Anyways, that's all for this lesson. I hope that you've learned something. I hope that it's been good for you, and I'll see you next time.